morning. My name is Sandy Gudarf and I'm president of the Downtown Dayton Partnership. We are here for a very exciting announcement today, but more importantly, we're here today because of all of you. Because all of you, quite frankly, gave a damn. So, we are here to um, make a very important announcement. You know, a few years ago, this community rose to the occasion and worked hard to develop a comprehensive plan for the greater downtown plan, or to the downtown area. Since we rolled out that plan, we've had exciting news to share and, and about downtown. This project, the River Run project, was a cornerstone of one of our very first projects. And we're here today to announce some great news about this project. I would like to introduce Dr. Mike Irvin to come up and share that news. But before I do that, I have to acknowledge all of you again for for being a part of this project. And there were so many volunteers um, that contributed to make this happen. Dr. Michael Irvin and Mr. Ron Budzik, raise your hand, Ron. These two gentlemen spearheaded the fundraising campaign along with Julia Wallace from Cox, who you're going to hear from momentarily. So we need to thank you for your leadership. And again, thank everybody else. Mike? Sure, well, uh, hi, everybody. Uh, it's great to see you here. Thanks, Sandy. Um, and thanks to everybody who's really worked on this project. You know, I've really, really enjoyed working on this endeavor because so many people in our community are really passionate about the rivers here. Rivers have always been the lifeblood of great cities. And all over the United States, cities are now redeveloping their riverfronts. Now, here in Dayton, we've done an amazing job with the first three phases of Riverscape. Uh, people have enjoyed it, it's been wonderful, and now it's time to actually get back into the river and help ignite additional development along the entire stretch of the rivers throughout the greater downtown. Now, a lot of you will remember that back in June, we said that we had raised a lot of this money, but we were going out to the public to raise the last $200,000 of our uh, $4 million goal. The campaign was promoted with the last damn summer, and we've had a lot of fun with that. The great thing about this public campaign to me, though, was yes, we, we had some nice big gifts uh, of maybe a $5,000 check or a $2,500 check, but what was overwhelmingly wonderful was we had a lot of $5 contributions, $10 contributions. A guy walked up to me in the coffee shop and said, I want to help, and he gave me $30 of cash. Um, so it's really been a community effort with lots of people to, that help make this possible today. So we do, in fact, have exciting news, or obviously we wouldn't be gathered here today. So I'm extremely happy to announce that we have officially met our fundraising goal of $4 million. <laughs> lots of people. We want to thank our contributors, our sponsors who are here today, and, and all of our community partners who have really helped with this fundraising campaign. So joining us today is Julia Wallace, Market Vice President for Cox Media Group Ohio. <laughs> Julia and Cox have been, and I want to stress this, absolutely tremendous champions of this project. And we wouldn't be here today without them. So uh, we have pledges now of $3 million, and now I, on behalf of the community, am very happy to officially request the $1 million challenge grant from the James M. Cox Foundation that was awarded at the beginning of our fundraising efforts. So I'd like to turn over the microphone to Julia. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. I'm such, is this 
a beautiful day. Fabulous, huh? Um, okay, so Cox said from the beginning, um, we we would like to contribute a million dollars, but we asked the community to step up and uh, contribute three million. We have passed that goal, and so we have the big check here to present. I think this is a really important project that will help this community, continuous development. I mean, the real star of today is this right here. It is a beautiful, beautiful river that this will give us an opportunity to develop more. So I'm glad that Cox can contribute and get this going. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you so much on behalf of this community. Julia and everybody at Cox. And again, Mike and Ron, thanks for your efforts in leading this fundraising goal. You know, we do so many great things in this community because we we have so many great partners. And that's what's so special about this community of everybody pulling together and, and working together to make things like this happen. So I would like to introduce some of our partners and ask them to come up and say a few words. First of all, the mayor of the city of Dayton, Mayor Gary Leitzel. Thank you. On behalf of the City of Dayton, I want to thank you all for coming out on this beautiful day, which I give all the credit to Commissioner Lieberman for. I always defer the weather to a higher authority, right? Um, and I don't want to hear any uh, damn cookie jokes, either. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say, you know, we've done some wonderful things in this city over the past years. We have the ballpark just over here, we have the Schuster Center over here, and I actually think that with this, uh, downtown, this greater downtown plan, we are finally connecting the dots, and this is one of the tools that's going to connect the dots because we can get from there to here to there and enjoy ourselves the whole way. Now, we owe it all to our, ourselves, the citizens of Dayton, and there's one thing I want to point out behind me is a poem called A Toast to Dayton. And if you get a chance to read it, I think you should because it has a lot of meaning as to what we're doing here today. And if it weren't for all of you and the citizens of this fine city, we wouldn't be achieving this. And I, I really want to thank the partners. I want to thank the citizens for coming forward and making this happen because this is a game changer for our city. So, uh, again, thank you all. Thank you, Mayor. Now, representing Montgomery County, uh, Commissioner Debbie Lieberman. <laughs> time to be here in Dayton. You know, um, we knew this day would happen, but it's because of all of our partners. Everybody you see up here and so many more. And so from County Commissioners Judy Dodge, Dan Foley, and myself, I just want to say thank you to all of you for believing in downtown, and I am so excited for this to happen. You know, this region always puts together great partnerships. And I think you're looking right now at some incredible partnerships that have happened. And it happened because we believe in Dayton. We believe in our region. Um, and I just want to say a special thank you to probably one of our biggest supporters of Dayton, Mike Irvin. Thank you, Dr. Michael Irvin. We all know that in order to have good economic development, we have to have a great quality of life. And we know we have that here. And this is just going to continue. Um, we have a, gr a growing and thriving downtown, um, a great arts community, great independent restaurants, and now much more. You know, one of my best memories of being on this river is coming down the river and the fountains going off. If you haven't experienced that, I know many of you have, and, and as I look around, see who's here. But it's just, it's just so much fun. And so this next phase is just going to make this a place that people are going to want to be. You know, people are going to come here, and it's just going to add 
to our, our vibrancy. So to all of the partners, thank you. Sandy, um, your vision in this and um, your team's vision has been amazing. And um, we are going to remove that damn low dam. And I know we're all going to cheer. And this is going to be an incredible, incredible experience and thing for all of us to enjoy with our families. And it's going to attract people to want to be right here in Dayton. So, again, on behalf of the county commissioners and Joe Tuss that's out there somewhere, um, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Lieberman. Now I would like to introduce two of our partners that are actually, you know, in the day-to-day -day details and um, two partners that are actually going to manage this project and make it happen. Carrie Scarf, the Deputy Director of Five Rivers Metro Parks, and Janet Bly, the Director of the Miami Conservancy District. Thank you, Sandy. I want to add on behalf of the Board of Park Commissioners, and Herb Beezer is here, and our Executive Director, Becky Benet, I want to add my thanks to the community and to our project partners as well. Julia, thank you. Send our thanks to Alex Taylor and Mike. Thank you. Ron and Sandy, thank you. Um, I think that uh, the Conservancy District and Metro Parks for years has envisioned what the potential of this river could be if we remove the slow dam, and now it's going to happen. What's, what will happen from this from today forward is that we will continue with the engineering for the project. We're about 50% done. We're working um, on both the engineering of the river itself and then the access points to allow people to get to this great asset that we're opening up. We'll have access a number of access points that are improved up and down the river. Uh, we will also continue to work on our permitting that we're required to obtain. And as we move forward, we anticipate construction next year to begin on the river. So look forward to that. Janet? I'd just like to say congratulations and thank you to everybody who contributed and worked so hard to get us to where we are today. We are really excited to turn the page on the next chapter of the Great Miami River. This river has brought both triumph and tragedy to the city, and we're looking forward to working with this partnership on the next triumph. Thank you. Janet. Now, we have one last piece of business. As Mike mentioned, this, this last phase of the fundraising campaign was a very aggressive community effort, and we had a very active social media campaign. And this wonderful kayak right behind you was donated by Subaru. And so we had a, a drawing on Facebook said just friend us and have a chance to win this kayak and um, we had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of friends that friended us on Facebook and we drew a name this morning and Karen Collins is the proud owner of that kayak and Karen is an employee of Sinclair Community College so we're going to be excited to give that kayak kayak to Karen Collins. So that is, um, again, another effort of our social media campaign. Okay, thank you very, very much um, for your support. Thanks for coming out today. And gosh, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful fall day in our community. Again, on behalf of, of, of the partnership, the, the, the community partnership, we thank all of you. And again, we thank all of our strong partners. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, just before we depart here, I just want to once again thank Ron Budzig, Julia Wallace, a lot of the donors that I see here today, and uh, a lot of the other people that have given uh, to this cause. In closing, I just want to point out to the crowd here all the signs that you see around. There's a lot of people's names, uh, foundations, uh, organizations uh, 
who have uh, given for uh, given to this cause. And I, I want everybody to know that there were a lot of people that did a lot of other things for this thing. Uh, the people who put money in the tip jars on our first Friday to donate to this. Um, those that bought the, the raffle tickets uh, and, and, and for a couple of our, um, our events. And one person even hosted a uh, canoe party at her house. Uh, and uh, a lot of people contributed in a lot of ways. And I just really want to thank everybody that's contributed in whatever way they did. Uh, most of all, thanks to you and, and the whole community. Lastly, it won't be long um, until these renderings you see in front of you, if you haven't seen them, take a look. It won't be long until they're a reality out in the river and everybody's out there. So, uh, you know, just in closing, uh, enjoy the day. Thank you for coming. And we are going to see one great success after another. This is just another great thing that we're getting done here in the city. So thank you. Have a great day.